Good morning or afternoon everyone. Today is the day after I got my wisdom tooth pulled and um, I am going to tell you about the procedure. <laughs> it's pretty much been 24 hours since I have eaten anything. I can talk pretty regularly. My jaw hurts a little, it's a little sore and it feels a little uncomfortable inside because I think what I'm feeling is like a stitch, like scraping against my tongue whenever I talk. My appointment was at 1 p.m. last night, last yesterday, <laughs> and I wasn't in and out. So the procedure was supposed to take about 15 to half an hour according to the dentist, but instead it took about two hours instead. I went in there, I sat, I asked if I could vlog, he said yes. Then he just pretty much numbed me, he gave me a preliminary one, which went way deeper than any injection that I've ever had for a cavity. Like it, I felt like, like the needle is like this, right? And then this is like the syringe. Like I felt the syringe part touching the inside of my mouth. And usually doctors don't press it all the way in. I like heard something like pop when the needle was like halfway through and I was like, that can't be good either. So that was that and then he let me to, off to my own devices where I recorded most of the inside of the office. He came back periodically to numb me more and he numbed me about three times total. Um, after the third time he started like really poking really he started using a metal tool to poke really hard around the gum area i could still feel it which he said was unusual like i felt two spots the rest of them it was numb and so he just did a couple like you know around the tooth left came back tried again and he was like stabbing really hard because I felt the pressure but no pain and after that an hour and a half later he decided that we were ready to go. Now the procedure wasn't bad I thought it would be a lot worse but I do see the appeal of being put under because it definitely wouldn't have taken an hour and a half to numb me fully. I was so numb on this side that this side was, it was like creeping over. Like usually you get like a nerve block and only one side of your face is numb. But he put so much anesthetic that like this part of my face was starting to get numb. And by the end like this was getting numb too, which I thought was very strange. But yeah, I feel like if I had been put under, it would not have taken an almost two hours to get my tooth out. Most of it was just numbing. After that, he has me lay down and he gets out the drill and he pretty much has to cut a little piece of my tooth out. It turned out to not even be half. It was just like the tiniest chip so that he could have space to pull it out. I mean, that was whatever. I had assumed that he had cut the tooth into a lot of pieces, but it actually came out in one piece, which I think was why it was so difficult. I asked him afterwards and he said it was a medium difficulty because everybody is different and some people's teeth come out way easier and some people's teeth don't come out as easy. I think that he was just trying to be nice about it. Basically he tried the old like getting little pliers and like yanking it a little bit from the front and that didn't work and he was trying to like twist it and that didn't work either. I didn't hear any crunching noises or anything. A lot of people say like at this point you hear a lot of crunching and like bad noises where you're like I wish I was sleeping right now but I didn't have anything like the entire procedure was pretty silent and it just was a matter of him trying to push my gum down more and separate the gum from the tooth trying to wiggle the tooth out not being able to pull it out and then trying to wedge more space between the tooth and the gum and etc etc he gave it about a good like five tries until I think it was maybe like a last resort like I was laying back and he was here right so he had like 
his arm like around my mouth or around my face like this and then his hand was on my chin and his thumb was in my mouth like this <laughs> and he was like holding on to it like that and then with his other hand he has the pliers and he's like holding onto my mouth and then he's like trying to wiggle the tooth out of place and that was like two more good tries and eventually I did hear a crack and I was like oh no he touched the top of my tooth because my mouth doesn't open that wide and the tool could barely get in there so I did feel the pliers resting on my top teeth at some points and like pressing on the top teeth and he was just like no I didn't touch them and I'm like whatever <laughs> so he finally like gets it out there was no noise it was really strange like no like like from you know when you pull something out of a socket no crunching no like things breaking none of that it was just a very easy procedure well easy for me because I just laid there and like started laughing because I thought it was so comical uh, watching my dentist struggle like that but yeah eventually hand on mouth thumb inside mouth it just came out like easy peasy didn't even feel any pressure and then I was just like cool when I saw the tooth come out and he sewed it up and sent me on my way with some aftercare really I did keep the tooth though so excited let me show it to you dish my pride and joy look at it my tooth you can see like this piece right here is the piece that he had to cut off so that he could pull the tooth out I'm just gonna turn it I turn it I turn it it's so beautiful I love it Look at it. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, it was just really interesting. Does it smell bad? I don't know, I can't tell, but this was awesome. And I'm really glad I have this keepsake. <sighs> all in all, I feel fine. Um, I was building it up in my head way more and way worse than it was just because I hear so many horror stories of like other people getting their teeth out and honestly it was so easy like I walked out of there so happy and I was just like I could get the rest of my teeth out and just replace all of my teeth with gold teeth but let's not get crazy <laughs> so now I'm gonna have some lunch and then maybe get ready for the day. I don't really have many plans, so that's why I'm still like wake up mode. But who knows, maybe I'll go somewhere and treat myself to dinner nice tonight. Alright, so see you guys later. And I have and if I have any updates, like if I get like an infection or something, I will update because like I did get antibiotics just in case, and I'm just like, uh